We had a really pretty bus ride from the Manchester airport to Sheffield and there were a lot of sheep, which got me really excited. I texted my boyfriend, I was like, can we get a sheep? And he said, no. I had an interesting practice yesterday and I got on the ice, skate around feeling good and I just hit my toe big and I wiped out and everyone in the audience started clapping and I was like, all right, I'm just gonna bow, we're gonna keep going. Then my lace broke and I was like, this has been interesting. So anything that could have gone wrong yesterday did. So I got it all out and then today was smoother sailing. So it's kind of a funny story, but my brother used to play hockey and I actually started skating relatively late for like competitive figure skating. I was like 10 or 11 years old. So I was a little bit later. My brother played hockey and on like Saturday mornings, I, my parents would drag me out of bed because I was too young to be left alone. So I would go with him to the hockey rink and I would like sit there for hours and I was like, all right, I'm bored. Like I want to do something. So I got on the ice and I really liked it. And flash forward, like literally six months later, he quit hockey and I'm still figure skating. And it's just kind of a funny story that like he wants nothing to do with it, but I'm still doing it. For me, I it's very rare in this sport to have somebody that goes to school as well at the time. And you can ask a lot of athletes and a lot of them will be like, I did homeschooling or I did this and that, which is totally fair and like I totally get that, but that was never an option in my family just because they're like, you need to go to school. You need to go to school full time. So I went to school full time all throughout high school and now I'm at uh, Harvard, which didn't plan that, that just worked out. So I'm still in school full time right now. And like, I would say balancing both and like being able to achieve at a relatively high level in both has been something I'm really proud of that I've been able to do just because in both cases, it's not something that a lot of people have managed to do. Yeah, yeah okay, so that was my first season on the Junior Grand Prix circuit and we were in Slovenia at the time and we went to a team dinner after we had competed and it was super late and the dance team that was with us had won and actually one of the guys that is here with me on Team USA, Tomoki Hiwatashi, was actually at that event as well and they were like, let's do a team dinner and it's like 11 p.m. and everyone's like, I don't think anywhere is gonna be open. So we like go from the back of the hotel like across the street and it's like a small Mexican place. But yeah, that was a really fun time. And Slovenia since then has been one of my favorite places because it was so beautiful there. And their like mascot or like country animal is a dragon, which I just thought was awesome. Yeah, so that was actually my first senior competition ever and my first senior international. So I had just won nationals back in the US in 2019 and they reached out to us and they were like, hey, like we're gonna send you to, it was Enya Spring Trophy in like a couple months or like a month or so. And I was like, okay, fine. Like I'll get senior programs and we'll go and we'll do it. And that was, I think after the short program and this, the Adia sponsor, so the skate sponsor was there and they had their Chihuahua. And I love dogs, I love animals. And I was like, can I hold your dog? And so they said, yes. And I was so excited. I was like holding this little dog and then it peed. And I was like, oh my God, this thing just like peed on my dress. It was so bad, but it was very exciting. I got the dress cleaned, but it was very exciting. Okay, so quoting Audrey Hepburn, the word itself says I'm possible, but I think it depends on how you look at it. Because if you're like going back and forth, arguing with yourself as something is possible or impossible, the moment you say it's possible, it is. And the moment someone else says it's impossible, it is. So I guess it's the way you look at it. 